Hey guys, so today we're going to talk about surprising discoveries from around the world. Now be sure to watch until the end and let us know what you think in the comments down below too. So the modern scientific community has determined a version of history where there is no place or even a hint of one that had an ancient, highly developed civilizations. However, the world does continue to develop and old theories are giving way to new facts. History is the science that tries to use old research and dogma while ignoring new facts and discoveries. Monkey Vessel from Pre-Columbian America So, what's interesting here? We're talking about a vessel. It's not clear what it was filled with, however, it was simply made. It's made completely from obsidian. This stone can be worked with, but only with great difficulty. The Aztecs were a people who made one of the strongest civilizations in pre-Columbian America. Only the Spanish were able to surpass them. Today, we know about them from writings and from archaeological discoveries. One discovery was an obsidian vessel with a monkey on it. Now, when specialists started researching it, they were really surprised. How could they make such high-quality work back then? It wouldn't have been questioned if it were clay, but this is obsidian. We have known of obsidian products earlier, but they were never really high art. For example, arrowheads are fairly simple and crude. Look at this technology. It's no surprise that researchers started coming from all over the place to come up with various theories. Now, overall, they believe that the Aztecs couldn't have made this vessel. Their craftsmanship just wasn't sufficient. Mysterious Holy Cubs from India during the day in central England, on the bank of the Sow River, near Coventry, local Will Reed found a pile of strange cubs on the riverbed. They were made from lead and covered in unfamiliar symbols, leading to ideas of religious significance. Now, using an online open survey, it was discovered that the symbols were Indian. Clearly, they were made in India and brought to England, but due to the lack of practical use, they were discarded. Now, here is the real mystery. Until now, no one has been able to guess the use for these strange objects. The symbols repeat, making it seem like Sudoku because each column, row, and diagonal provides the same value. Now, this leads to the idea that the cubes are yantra, magical tools for concentration and performing various rituals in Hinduism. The cube's material, lead, is a symbol for cancer, a part of the moon's orbit in Hindu astrology. So they could be cancer yantras, meaning religious objects. A coin was found with the cubes that shoes a multi-armed woman that shows a multi-armed woman on a lion. It's the symbol of Durga, the mother goddess, so it's not clear why they were made for her. While enthusiasts make their guesses, experts are trying to determine their age. The newest volt ampere method has a 150-year error range, which might not mean much compared to thousands of years. But what if they were made relatively recently? Two thousand year old map. It's even older than the mysterious Piri Reis map. Now that map is five hundred years old, but the stone map found in Mexico is supposed to have been made between two hundred BCE to two hundred CE, meaning fifteen hundred years before the Piri Reis map. It's yet to be clear what they have in common, but there's already been some success. It's a map of the nearby area. It has lines for rivers and valleys, and cavities and circles for settlements around them. 
Overall, the map fairly accurately corresponds to the southern incline of the Fuego de Colima volcano, according to experts. Now, it's not possible to date the basalt carving. They carved something, but we don't know when. The basalt clay is also not datable. Rocks are rocks. But we can connect this rock to a volcanic eruption and understand when it was too early for it to be made. The drawings can be dated using excavation information. Many objects were found that can be dated using standard methods and have drawing using the same technique. So, the dating of this map is fairly accurate at 2,000 years ago, plus minus 200 years. A 1,700-year-old board game. This Roman board game was found in a Norwegian basement and is made of bone cubes and 18 round figures that were used by high-ranking people. The game is called Ludus Lantern Colorum and is made of 19 pieces, including elongated bones that are used in battle between the players. Along with the game, scientists found clay dishes, bone fragments, bronze objects, and burned glass. The artifacts were found in a crematorium that was possibly a place to bury high-class people. Ludus Lantern Colorum is a game of dexterity where two players face each other and try to catch the opponent's figures. Each player has an equal amount of figures that differ in color. Now, some versions have a special figure that each player has called a dux. It's a figure with greater capabilities. The figures move around the board and surround each other to capture them. A figure surrounded by two figures of the opposite color is removed from the game. Now, the people that played similar games were aristocrats or upper class. The game showed that you had time, money, and the ability to think strategically. What is this Canadian meteor made of? In January 2000, a large meteor fell on Canada that was dated by experts. It landed in Tagish Lake. Then, after samples were taken, it was preserved for study. It was during this study that scientists learned that they were rich with carbon and amino acids. It also learned that it had a high alkaline level. In the end, they learned that 7 billion years ago, the Earth's atmosphere was 70% CO2. Over 700,000 artifacts. Back in 2003, the Amsterdam government decided to extend a new metro line. They needed to dry out two old canals, Damrak and Poket, to do so. At some point, these canals were branches of the Amstel River and widely used for transport. Now, it turned out that the bottom of these canals was littered with various artifacts, some of them from the 13th century. So specialists went down 12 feet deep into the soil, and the deeper they went, the older the objects were that they found. They found a huge amount of coins from various countries and times. All of the discoveries were catalogued and digitalized. They made a special resource to do so where anyone can see the discoveries and even make a collage of what was found. Evidence of life on the Earth 3.5 billion years ago. Geologists from the University of New South Wales conducted chemical analysis on fossils found in the 1980s in the Australian desert. The fossils are over 3.5 billion years old, and they proposed that they had organic remains, but they couldn't prove it. Scientists used to think that the oldest found fossils with organic remains were fossils from Greenland that were 3.7 billion years old. However, the chemical tests didn't show organic remains there. The Australian fossils were through a similar process. They went through a scanning electron microscope and scanning light electron microscope. Then they underwent X-ray spectroscopy and Raman spectroscopy. This was followed by nanoscale secondary ion mass spectrometry, an analysis of stable carbon isotopes. Geologists noted that they had to do so many tests to determine the presence of organic elements in the fossils. In this case, 
if one method showed organics but others didn't, the end result would not have shown life in the fossils. The team's tests show that the fossils were mostly made of a mineral called pyrite that has nanoscopic pores. This pyrite contained nitrogen-containing organic material and strands of an organic compound that was very much like the remains of biofoam developed by microbial colonies. Unknown Ancient Species In 2008, in a Siberian cave, researchers discovered ancient human remains. Now, first they thought they belonged to Neanderthals. However, after some tests, they couldn't determine who they belonged to. They didn't belong to any known species. At the same time, through comparison with mitochondria, there are 385 differences between these ancient remains and modern people. Who do they belong to? In 2012, thanks to DNA recombination, scientists discovered that the owner should be a descendant of Homo sapiens in Neanderthal that is about 45,000 years old. Thanks to a large amount of tests and data comparison, the researchers also discovered that about 45,000 years ago, due to hybridization between Neanderthals and Homo sapiens, there was a demographic explosion and it's supposed that 60,000 years ago, the common ancestor of Europeans and Asians left Africa and started mixing with the Neanderthals. Hey, that's all for today. Make sure you subscribe to catch our next video and be sure to hit that notification bell to be here first. See you next time.